are waiting for his coming to its completion. And so the readings today invite us to recall God's saving deeds in the history of Israel, culminating in the coming of the Messiah that was promised. And so the prophet Baruch in the first reading asks the grieving and weeping Jerusalem he asks them to stand on the heights in order to see her scattered children coming home with God in the lead. They are coming home and God is their leader. And this reminds us, brothers and sisters, that all of us, like Israel, we are in exile. Mm. We have been led into the captivity of sin. Hence, we are in need of restoration and conversion by the word of the Holy One. Amen. We too, all of us, we are asked to return to the Lord from our slavery to sin during this Advent season. And as we journey along this Advent, how many of us during the first week, last week of Advent, really watched the road? I had a conversation on the phone with a parishioner. And we're talking about illness and sickness in the family and caring and what not. And the person said to me, Father, this all boils down to watch the road. <laughs> and every time this week I went on the road, I was extra careful. I said, no, you have to lead by example. <laughs> watch the road and so that nobody runs into you or you run into anybody. But I must tell you this, that watching the road does not necessarily mean watching the physical road. There are many roads in our lives. There are many circumstances and situations that can be named the road. So we need together to watch the road as we are asked to return to the Lord from our slavery to sin during this Advent season. Psalm 126 is a joyous song sung by the pilgrims on their way to Jerusalem. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we are glad. And so in the second reading, Paul in writing to his beloved community at Philippi, Paul says that they are to be filled with joy as they await the day of Christ. Brothers and sisters, are you filled with joy? Do you have joy in your life this morning? How many of you have lost your joy for one reason? If I were to preach the shortest homily in my life, it would be summed up in five words. I am a joyful priest. Is five words that? <laughs> And if I were to preach my shortest prayer, it could be summed up in five words. I am a joyful priest. And if you are joyful this morning, don't make anybody feel your joy. Hallelujah! As I visited the shut-ins, some of them last week, I saw so much joy on their faces, even 
in their sickness. And there are so many people who are healthy. And they have everything that they want. They can move about freely. And they are not joyful. Why have you lost your joy? Brothers and sisters, don't let no demon from hell steal Hallelujah. Your Paul reminds us that our remembrance of God's saving deeds during the Advent season is meant to stir our faith and to fill us with confidence so that the one who began this good work in us will continue to complete it. Amen. We are to prepare ourselves for Christ's second coming by practicing Christian love and by leading pure and blameless lives until Jesus comes again. In the gospel, we are challenged by John the Baptist, who challenges the Jews and us to prepare the way for the Lord, to prepare the way for the salvation of all flesh, including our own. How? By a true repentance leading to the renewal of our lives. Brothers and sisters, do you want a renewal in your lives? Yes. Yes, definitely. We renew our passports. We renew our driver's license. Mm -hmm. We renew our insurance policies. <laughs> we renew firearm licenses. Our car registration. How about renewing your lives? Yes. Which is more important? Mm -hmm. Which is more important? <coughs> to renew your passport or to renew your life? Yes. Which is more important? You can answer me. Yes. Yes. To renew your lives is much more important. Yes. yes, you can renew your passport to go to foreign. Mm -hmm. But if your lives are not renewed, you cannot go to heaven. Yes. So you have something to think about this week. That's right. Which is more important, to renew your driver's license? So you can be free to drive anywhere you want or to renew your lives. Yes. Quoting Isaiah, St. John declares that he has come to prepare a royal road in our hearts for our Savior. Mm -hmm. A way out of the wilderness of sin yes. and alienation to God. Amen. And so you and I together, we need to prepare our hearts and lives for Jesus, our Savior, to be reborn in us yes. this Christmas time. Amen. As I said last week, it makes no sense that when we set up our Christmas scenes at home, 